Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making kakawa, chicken cooked in red wine. We are going to be using burgundy wine. You can use cabernet sauvignon if you want. So or any red wine. But if you do use burgundy, it'll be really good. Okay. So uh, today I'm going to be marinating it only for one or two hours because it's not a rooster. Kakawa means it's like rooster or like a mature chicken. So the mature chicken has to be marinated for 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours. But with this, we are using the regular chicken. So one or two hours is more than enough. By the time you prep all the vegetables and do all the different stuff, it'll be ready. As soon as we prepare all the vegetables, then it'll be already one hour. So it's a lot of work and a lot of prep. So the chicken will be marinated and we can start cooking. So let's get into the recipe. Okay. So we first finish the chicken part. So I'm putting this whole bottle of red wine on the chicken. One whole bottle because it's two whole chicken. So let it marinate. I have one bag of bacon. Don't buy a smoked bacon, get like regular bacon. You don't want the smoke flavor get into the chicken. It's all about the chicken, not the bacon. Because I have two um, whole chicken, so I'm using this one packet. If you're using one whole chicken, just half of it is good. Okay. I had some leftover onions from my last time. Some celery and some carrots we need big chunks of carrot we need two garlics I'm making a bouquet garni, parsley stems, thyme, bay leaf, garlic. So you need like garlic, onion, celery. I had some uh, leeks, carrots and a bouquet garni. Little bit of tomato paste, not too much. So. So this is called uh, cartouche, we are going to braise the pearl onions. So I have a cake, uh, parchment paper for cake, but you can use the regular thing and cut it round. Measure from the center, so we don't need this big. Cut us cut in the middle I'm gonna be like this so when you're braising a vegetable this is how we do it we have the pearl onion peel all the mushrooms ready to go I'll cut it into half it has to be big chunks the vegetables are all cut mise en place is done I'm adding one cup of water a little bit of butter. I only have brown sugar, so I'm putting some brown sugar in there. We want to caramelize it. Very little salt. A pinch of salt. Uh, once the heat comes up, water boils, then I'll put this as a cover. For the bacon, we don't need any butter or oil. This pan has to heat up really well. The sound is important. Mm -hmm. 
add butter. Now I'm adding the mushroom. So I'm going to be searing the chicken and the bacon fat. Smell is so good. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. This is like a chimney, the hole is like a chimney. Mm -hmm. That can go for a long time. It has to cook. So I put it in low flame. I'm going to use half of this bacon for garnish, half will go in the chicken to cook when it's cooking. Okay. I can actually add the onion, the bacon fat and the leek. Yeah, the leek. This is for the sauce. You don't have to like fry it for too long. No, it's just a little bit to get the bacon fat and do that. Mm -hmm. Not too long, just until the garlic is. Flavor gets in, so it's absorbed the bacon right fat. Yeah. Mm. So this is all for the sauce, okay? Mm -hmm. So for the sauce, we have all this like uh, maypois, and I'm gonna add like half of the bacon to this, so this all goes. After we sear the chicken, this will all go in the pot, right? So I'm taking some of it and adding it to the sauce. Okay. So this is for the garnish. This mushroom is for the garnish. Keeping all the garnish that goes last separately. See that? Right. See that. So the pearl onion also goes as garnish. So that's going to be there for like almost like all the time. Okay. Maybe one hour it's in a very low flame. Okay. See, you want to check this? It's it's cooking now. Can you see that? I can see that. Yeah. Garnish. That's going with the sauce. So I have some parsley and thyme. Okay. That goes in the garnish. All right. This is all the final. Beautiful. So the chicken was marinating in the red wine. It's almost an hour that we did all the work. Mm -hmm. That's why. Good thing I came early. But if it's a mature chicken or like a rooster, then you have to marinate it for 24 hours. Trying to drain it before searing. I have to dry the, pat dry the chicken, the paper towel. Okay. So now I'm drying the chicken. It has to be dried really well because we're searing. When you sear, you don't want any liquid. If you want, you can add flour to it, but I wouldn't. See now, the water is reduced. Right? So, right. See how it's browning? Yes. That's what we want. So I'm going to sear the chicken. I'm adding some butter in the pan. Batch by batch. You can hear the sound. So I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper. 
I won't crowd the pan. We'll only be doing this tearing little by little. And five minutes on each side. So the pearl onion is caramelized. Three to four minutes per side. So right now all the bits I removed. I washed, deglazed the pan. And this is cognac. People do like brandy, but to keep it ready. Can you see the flambe? <laughs> That's flambe. Can you see the flame still? No. No. It's done. So usually what they'll do is like they'll have the chicken liver and they'll put a little bit of garlic, red wine, mince it. That they'll use for thickening the sauce. So, but we're not doing that. This is all the vegetables. This goes on the stove for like 25 to 30 minutes until the chicken cooks. So the sauce will get thicker and then we have to strain the sauce, strain all the vegetables and then we'll present it. Okay, I'm gonna put it. So, the carrot, everything has to cook. It can go 35 to 40 minutes if you want. I put all the dark meat down and then the uh, like white meat on top of it because the dark meat takes time to cook. Okay. Um, the chicken is cooked. So now the chicken I removed from the sauce, it's cooked really well. We removed the bone off, so you can eat it. So, it goes off, goes off. So I sauce is going in here. Whoa, what fantastic. Just looking at it, I can feel the flavor. Actually, this kind of stuff will taste better the next day because the wine marinates with it. Yeah. So the kakawa is done. It took almost two hours, one hour for preparation and then one hour to actually put everything together and cook. Two and a half hours, right? Most, almost. It, it was quite a procedure. Yeah. So, so it's all done. The flavor. Flavor What did amazing. you feel, Cindy? Oh, the flavor is absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes. It's like bacon, pearl onions, like shallots. You can't go better than this very hearty for the fall yeah yeah they usually make you can't find it in restaurants like in the summertime these this kind of stuff boo bourguignon and uh cocoa. they only make it in winter or like a uh, fall time So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try it. I've given all the techniques. So I'm teaching Cindy. So it's basically like a class. So you guys can follow everything. But this few things that is very, very, very important. The pearl onion, the mushroom and the bacon for garnish. That has to be there. And then I actually added herb the Provence. You can just do parsley and thyme. 
bouquet garnier is very important. When you actually sear the chicken, make sure the chicken is dry. Otherwise, you have to add flour and then the sauce will get very thick. You don't need it. It's a very, very strong sauce. You don't need flour and then you'll actually take the flavor off when you put the flour. So this is basically how it is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like this video, please share, subscribe and comment. And I think Cindy is going to make it again. So when you make it, post the picture. Okay. And let us know how it came out. Thank okay? you, Chef Jay. You're welcome. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.